Hello, my name is Courtney Conley, and I am one of the instructional technology coaches for Utica Community Schools. Today, I would like to show you how to access your students' virtual open house using our conference manager. So let's get started. If you are an existing or returning user, meaning your child went to Utica Community Schools last year and you use this conference manager to access the conferences for parent-teacher conference night, you will get an email from your principal with the link to click on and log in. If you are new to Utica Community Schools and this is your first time using Conference Manager, you can just go to your internet and in the web address window, you can type in utica.schoolsoft.com. And when you click the enter or return key, it will take you to the Conference Manager. Keep in mind, that although it says conference manager, because this is a conference managing system, we are scheduling for open houses. These are not parent teacher conferences for your child. This is an open house where you meet your classroom's teacher. First, I'm going to show parents that were here last year how to log in. So you will sign in with your username and your password from last year and click parent log. Once you are logged in, you are gonna to wanna to click on my profile and just make sure that your student is listed at their correct building. If your child attends, let's say the virtual academy, but they also attend a high school, such as Stevenson or Henry Ford, you are gonna to want to add their name again. And you are gonna to wanna to select both the virtual academy and the high school that they attend for the um, junior high that they attend. So let's say Joe attends Henry Ford. And let's say, for example, maybe Jane is not at Ebling anymore. Uh, she moved to Bemis. You're gonna wanna select that school for your child. So just kind of go in here and make sure that your children are listed and that they are at the correct school. Additionally, also, if your child attends a CSI building, you might need to select the correct high school you may also need to go in and select the Instructional Resource Center. So you might have children that are listed two times with separate buildings. Once you change your profile and you click Submit in the My Profiles, go back to Book a Conference and just confirm that you have the correct schools listed for your students. If you don't, you are gonna need to go back into your My Profile and reselect those. Now you are ready to book your open house. To do that, you're clicking on book a conference. You will select your child's school, keeping in mind that if they attend two different buildings, you will be clicking on two separate links to schedule two different open houses. Once you click on your link, after September 16th, there will be teachers listed here for you to select to select your times. Once you create your bookings for your open houses, you will receive an email from appointments at schoolsoft.com. It will give you all your scheduled times for each specific conference. In addition, you will also get a link that will take you to the actual virtual con or virtual open house page. So it will tell you to click on, this is where you click on your recordings, and then you can actually watch a video if that helps you. And then you will get an additional email telling you to click on a link. That link will take you to Teams and you'll be able to get started with your conference on the appointed time. Once you have selected the link through your email, it will take you to Teams. You have various options to join your Teams meeting. However, I would suggest that you just continue on the browser. It runs a little bit slower, but it is the easiest way to get in. Keep in mind, when you enter the Teams meeting, in order for us to maximize our time for the evening, we will be disabling the chat. So when you click on the chat bubble, you will no longer be able to chat in this meeting as we have disabled it. We will also have your microphone turned off at that time. 
If for any reason you have a question that is generic to the class and it is not selected to your child, you may click on your reactions and raise your hand. Your teacher will note on their side that you have your hand raised for a question, as it shows here on my end, and the teacher will be able to turn your microphone on for you to ask your question. Due to time restraints, questions will be limited. So if you have a specific question about your child, it would be in your best interest to contact the teacher via Teams or via email. We hope this video helped you to get started on your open house, and we hope that you have a great open house experience and a great school year. Thank you.